Hello everybody, how are we today? I hope we're doing great, I hope we're having a wonderful day. If you are new here, my name is Cameron and today we are going to be talking about how I annotate my books. I'm not gonna sit here and spend some bullcrap story to you guys about how I'm just this huge annotator and I have these books and books and books of annotations. I don't, I used to, but I don't. I used to be the annotating queen, but I'm trying to gain that title back. So I just have a couple of books that I did annotate so far and I am gonna show you a couple of those things, how I annotate them, what my color codes are, like where I get my supplies from and all of that good jazz. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So what is annotation, one might ask. An annotation is when you are highlighting a significant part of a story to you specifically, not to anybody else, but to you. When you're highlighting a specific event, uh, motion, quotes, sayings, anything that you feel stuck out to you the most and you just highlight it, put a sticky note, and there you go, that's annotation. Some people do like to write in their books and write comments about the certain section, which is what I just started doing. Before, I didn't really like writing in my books because I was just like, oh my gosh, like why would I desecrate my book like this? But to me, honestly, when I look back at a book that I finished annotating, it looks so pretty. It just looks super, super beautiful. It looks so just colorful. And honestly, it looks super aesthetic. But when it comes to annotation, first things first is supplies. So when it comes to supplies, you can get your supplies from anywhere. I personally prefer to get them from Amazon because Target, Target is a little expensive to be totally honest. So I use these guys right here. These are just some annotation stickies. I use the post-its, like the little yellow tabby, not the yellow, just like the little tabbies where you pull them out. And then I also love, love, love to use these guys from Amazon. These are just some color rainbow tabs. They just have different types of tabs with these. So they have the flag tabs, they have the arrow tabs, and then they have my personal favorite, the flat tabs. I I personally like to use the flat taps just because they don't catch on much and they just look a little bit more how do you say pleasing to the eye I tried using the flag tabs and they were just so annoying it looked so messy and I absolutely hated it so we just don't use these we don't talk about them they are the subject we don't talk about I do prefer to use these tabs they come in several amazing colors and then they're also pretty thick when it comes to how many tabs you get on the one stick so basically it'll take me about four books to get through one of these tabs so that's really really good as opposed to the post-it notes where like a half of a book if you have like a 400 page book and you plan on using all of the tabs you use the whole thing in like half of the book so I just prefer to use these and these are on Amazon I think they're like $8.99 because you get a pack of 10 and they come with like two of each one so two four six yeah they come with two for two of each one so yeah these are my favorite favorite tabs that I like to use for annotating my books the next are post-it notes post-it notes post-it notes post-it notes I personally like to use post-it notes to write out the summary of a certain chapter sometimes if I have too much of a thought that I can't put down on the book or if you don't like to write in your books you can absolutely use post-it notes I color coordinate my post-it notes depending on like the kind of book or sometimes like the color of the book so for romance books I will use pink for fantasy I will use green and then for nonfiction I will use orange or sometimes if I just really don't feel like color coordinating it I'll just use whatever for the most part if you don't like to write in your books you can absolutely use a sticky note or if you're like me and just have too many thoughts to write an entire journal on a specific page just grab a sticky note. This is exactly what I do and it's way easier. Same thing, you can get your post-it notes from Amazon, Target, Staples, whatever. I would probably do Staples because they have better deals on annotation, like tabs, sticky notes, post-its, but Staples are now like a dime a dozen and you can't find them anywhere. So just go to Amazon. Amazon is there for all of your needs, but yeah. Post-it notes, you guys, very important. So another thing that I like to use are the large post-it notes. So these ones, I do come lined. You just can't see it because of my light on my camera. But I like to use these for when I write down my key annotations, what my summary is for the chapter, and if I just have a really long thought about a page that just irritated me or I just found super interesting. You don't really use these too much, to be totally honest. I have so many of them, and I don't go through them that often. But 
if you want to save paper and money from buying them just use a regular sticky note because that's still gonna save the exact same purpose I try to not waste paper I try not to waste anything so I will find use for anything and everything especially these guys so next we have my pouch my little handy dandy highlighting annotation pouch so this I did get from Amazon and it is super super helpful it extends at the bottom to where you unzip it and it kind of lifts up so that way it can have a deeper compartment for all of your pens annotation supplies anything and everything you want to shove in here you can shove it in here so in here it has like a nice little zipper compartment for where I put all of my sticky notes my annotation tabs and then on the front here you see where I have my rainbow color coded pens and the pens that I love to use are the Inkjoy Papermate pens. These ones write so so beautifully and there's no bleeding in any of the pages. I am heavy handed myself so if you are heavy handed these will bleed through just a little bit but if you're light handed these are absolutely perfect for you and I just love 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 how they write and how thick and creamy the ink is. I know it sounds weird but that's just what it is. And then I also under here keep my two hand highlighters. I love, love, love these highlighters. They come in these really beautiful pastel -y colors and also they come in black. I've never had a black highlighter. I'm still searching for a red highlighter, but you know, we're, it's, we're on the hunt for them. So if anybody knows where I can find a red highlighter, please let me know. But I also keep all of my extra pens down here and I just love these Paper Joy pens. They come in all of these beautiful rainbow colors and they are just, they're just beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Especially in the front where it has my little section where I can color code all of my pens and my annotation supplies. So the Inkjoy Papermate pens, they are a little bit on the pricey side. I do believe I paid $15, but it was for a pack of like 15 and it is rainbow color. So you do get some double colors in the pack. I really, really love coordinating the pens along with the highlighter. So if I have a green highlight, I will underline it in the green Inkjoy pen and then I will highlight it with my green two hand highlighter. It is a beautiful system. It just looks great. It looks so organized and pleasing. I love it. That is just, that's just me. I love, love, love making sure everything looks super colorful, super neat, and just kind of like a creative mess. So another thing that I see floating around a lot is does annotation take more time? To me, it absolutely does take more time. If anything, it doubles the reading time of what it takes to read a book and basically what it takes for me to read a book. Now, oh my gosh, I thought a spider crawled on me. Now there are some people out there where annotation for some magical reason, if you have the potion to make you read faster with annotation, please give it to me because I would love some of that. There are some people out there when they annotate, it takes them less time to read. It makes them read quicker. I don't know the the magic that goes behind that but please teach me your ways because it takes me forever to read a book if I'm annotating and you know it's not like I'm rushing to read books I don't like to rush to read books but I can certainly see where it'll take me three days to read a book without annotating it or two days and compared to a week to a week and a half to read a book when I am annotating it the next thing that is essential to my annotation is a ruler a nice little ruler so here's the deal do not spend ten dollars on a ruler please Amazon has a six inch ruler for like $2.99 please get that one I went to Target for a six inch ruler it was like ten dollars and that was on sale that was on sale and that was an absolute ripoff rulers rulers are super 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 helpful when you are annotating underlining underlining highlighting whatever they are just so helpful because sometimes when i'm trying to annotate the book kind of just flips over and i'm trying to write over top and it's just it's just not working it just doesn't work so sometimes the ruler will give me a little bit of stability and making that nice clean cut line that I'm looking for so that way when I do look back on my books it is just absolutely structured and it's beautiful it's beautiful it needs to go in the Louvre and yeah it just makes it look a hundred percent more neater because I write like a second grader and it just makes me look like I'm a lot neater than I actually am. There are no rules 
to annotating. Your keys can mean whatever they want. You don't have to have even like a specific key for a book. So what I like to do when I annotate is I will read through the book and then I will come up with a key and then go back and highlight my portions. So for Dorian Gray, for all of the parts where a character is obsessed and talks about Dorian Gray's beauty, I use that in turquoise. I just think it's a beautiful color. Dorian Gray, beauty, turquoise is beauty. So I just picked that color for that specific topic. And then I will just go through and highlight all of the specific sections where they talk about Dorian Gray and his beauty. Same thing with youth and beauty. I will highlight that in lime green. So anytime a character talks about an obsession with like staying young and purity and just youth, beauty, I will highlight that in green and underline it as well. And then I'll write my specific notes in that color coordination and as I'm going I'm still trying to find my style of annotation just because it has been years since I've annotated a book so now that I'm getting back into it I'm just revamping my style of annotation and how I do things so personally for me it doesn't bother me that it takes more time to read the book just because I like to underline and then go back and highlight and write my notes and honestly because of my ADHD I do find that annotating the books is a lot easier for me to understand and intake the information the way my brain works is in order for me to really retain the information I have to write it down so sometimes I'll listen to an audiobook so that way it stays in my head or I'll annotate and write my notes so that way I can remember specific parts of the story that stuck out to me the most and I can keep the main storyline in my head but like I said annotation there is no rules for it you customize how you annotate your books to any which way helps you retain the information and learn things from the book a lot easier and to me it is such an aesthetic way of reading the books I know some people like you're only reading books for aesthetic I'm not reading books for aesthetic it's just when I put them on my shelves and have my annotation books all in one it just looks amazing and it's great for show but just have fun with it you guys like I said there's no rules to annotation you do what you want you use what you want and you just have a good old time making sure that you are learning from what you read but that is all for the video you guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found my tips super super helpful and if you have any tips for me when it comes to annotating please just let me know I would absolutely love to learn of your tips on how you guys annotate your books or if you want any more information on how I do where I get my supplies everything will be linked down below the exact same pages where I got all of my supplies from I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe so you can get more content from moi every Wednesday I do host a reading sprint at 6 p.m. so please feel free to join us on there and also we have our monthly book club I don't have my pick for the month of June but I am going to be posting that on my Instagram probably today or tomorrow so that we get so that way we get a head start on our next book for the month of June so I would absolutely love if you guys joined us for our monthly book club so thank you guys so much I love you all I love you all thank you so much for all of your love and support and I will see you all in my next video bye